Hey guys, Billy Epperhart here. Thanks for tuning in the vlog. And listen, I just want to remind you that today we're going to talk about how to find the social impact uh, passion that you are passionate about or the purpose for, you know, many, we get many questions about starting nonprofits and how to find what you're really passionate about. So I'm going to give you a couple of guidelines for that here in just a moment. But I want to remind you that we also are are doing a, a GoFundMe project for Farm Uganda. And Farm Uganda is a project we have in Uganda, Africa, where we have through our microfinance lending in the, in the country of Uganda, we've lent around 70,000 US dollars for purchasing the land and much of the equipment and some other things to help Farm Uganda get off the ground. Now it's, get, it's off the ground and prospering but they need some new farm equipment to continue to minister literally to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people they are providing food for, and in some cases, thousands of people that they're providing food for, and so uh, in, in some dimensions. And so the reason I bring that up is our goal is to raise $7,500. We're well on our way to doing that as you watch this video, but we need to complete that. And so you can find a link here on the video and just go to that link and and uh, so i just encourage you to do that to participate with us in that gofundme project so one of the things that you do uh for example if you take what what we're doing right now in tricor global which is our social impact arm nonprofit that we have and um, how i got into it was i was passionate about helping people financially but as i would go overseas in many trips I today have visited over 86 countries in the world, and as I've made those travels all over the world, the one thing I discovered is that in some cases, the way that we were giving our support to people was uh, we were even uh, not, not wanting to, but we actually ended up creating a welfare society uh, mentality in some places we were trying to give aid or give help. Let me say this, in when there's emergency type aid that's required, there's been flood or famine or some other really catastrophe that's happened, then emergency aid is always absolutely needed. But when it comes to people in an ongoing way, people want to be empowered. They don't want you to just give them a fish. They want you to teach them how to fish. And so I became passionate about that. How can I help people long term? And so one of the questions I always ask myself is, what is something that bothers me the most? You know, if something really bothers me, you know, like I could tell people who like to clean uh, back in the days when I was a pastor, I would, you know, people that noticed the cobwebs on the chandeliers, they were usually the ones I put over the cleaning in the church or somebody else who wanted to notice that people weren't being helped. I put them over the, the, the food pantry that we had. And so the point is, is find out what bothers you. And if you find out what bothers you that, or doesn't make sense to you, can you do something about it? And so that really will lead you most of the time to your passion or your purpose of what you can do to, to help people. So people say, well, I'd like to start a nonprofit, but I don't know what it is. Well, you find something that really bothers you, like empowering women or helping children. Or in our case, you know, we really were bothered by seeing people that people kept giving people fish, but nobody was teaching them how to fish. And so we, we came up, and we weren't the original originators of that. We just I happened to pick up a book in an airport one day and read it, and it really challenged me that I was not thinking properly. And so it was like I was bothered by this, but I didn't know what to do. And because I didn't know what to do, then in the process of that, then resources began to come to me. I began to see it. And through that process, we started what we now know as Tricord Global. And so that's how you really know. You know, I've just done another vlog on what, what are the steps you take to go about starting it. But this is what you do to find what that passion is inside of you. Find out what really bothers you, and that will help you know. So this is Billy Epphart. Listen, thanks for watching the vlog, and I'll see you right back here on another one. Bye-bye.